Hey Unbox fam, welcome back to the channel where we take awesome out of the box. My name is Jamie and it's been about a week since Huawei released their newest mid-range smartphone in the Philippines, the Huawei Y9 Prime 2019, which also happens to be the most affordable phone that you can buy with a pop-up camera. Now the phone looks good, has a triple camera setup, plus it lasts a really long time. But despite all of that, I know some of you are curious to see how it handles some of our favorite games on the Google Play Store. So it's time for another gaming review featuring the Huawei Y9 Prime 2019. Now I know that some of you are eager to see if you won our giveaway for the Realme C2 plus the Realme Buds, but I'll be announcing that at the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned. Plus, you never know, we might be giving away something else. As always, before we begin our gaming review, I'm going to give you guys a refresher on the key specs of the Y9 Prime, but there is a separate video that you can access by clicking on the eye on the corner of the screen, but let's get to the recap. So let's kick things off by talking about what's under the hood of the Y9 Prime 2019. And since this is a device by Huawei, you have a Kirin 710F processor that's paired with 4GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. Now when we first show you guys this phone, I didn't know what the F meant in the SOC, and I'm happy to report that I still have no idea. So let's just move on to the screen. Now up in front, you have an almost all-screen display that has a screen-to-body ratio of 91%. Now the display measures in at 6.59 inches, has full HD plus resolution, and it's an IPS panel. So it's definitely good enough for day-to-day -day use, for binge-watching videos, and of course, for gaming. The Y9 Prime 2019 also has a 4000 mAh battery, but unfortunately our battery benchmark test doesn't play well with EMUI, but it did last us almost two days, so that's definitely a lot of juice. The phone also runs on Android Pie 9.0 and EMUI 9. So with the refresher out of the way, let's get to actual gameplay. And as usual, we use an app called GameBench to measure all the metrics that you'll be seeing in this gaming review. So let's kick things off with our baseline game, Asphalt 9. No surprises here, the Y9 Prime 2019 handled Asphalt 9 like a breeze with an average of 30 frames per second at 89% stability. Now the Kirin 710 processor never had a problem with this title, so the results were pretty much expected. Now let's move on to something a little bit more challenging, NBA 2K19. Now I was curious to see if this device could handle NBA 2K19 at the very highest settings and I was actually surprised by the results. We got an average of 29 frames per second at 95% stability, which is not bad at all, but I'm going to suggest that you tone down the settings of course to get this game running even smoother. Now it's time to move on to the next game, but I kind of skipped Mobile Legends since I did kind of miss my MOBA of choice, so you're going to be seeing Vainglory 5v5. Now, if MOBAs are your go-to for mobile gaming, then I'm happy to report that the Y9 Prime 2019 handled this title like a charm, with an average of 60 frames per second at 100% stability. That's pretty much perfect marks for Vainglory 5v5, and I'm guessing you're going to be seeing about the same results for the two popular titles in this genre. So let's move on to the last game on this list, which is also a crowd favorite, PUBG Mobile.
Now sadly for this device you're limited to high frame rates but we still got a decent average of 28 frames per second at 86% stability which means you're gonna get a few pop-ins here and there but thankfully gunfights are really smooth so it won't be a factor if you win or lose. All in all it's not a bad showing for the Huawei Y9 Prime 2019. Okay, so there's something I forgot to tell you guys at the beginning of this video. All the metrics that you saw is without performance mode on. So you can actually squeeze a few more frames out of the games that you saw by turning it on. But the trade-off is you'll be sacrificing battery life. So what did you guys think about the performance of the Y9 Prime 2019? Let me know in the comment section down below. Alright, so let's get to the moment that some of you have been waiting for. The draw for the Realme C2 plus the Realme Buds. Here we go. So there you have it. Congratulations. Again, I'll be reaching out to you via Instagram. So make sure you check your direct messages and congratulations once again, man. Now as for the next giveaway, we actually have to think about what to give you guys next, but I promise there will be a next giveaway. So stay tuned to the rest of the videos. You might as well subscribe right now if you haven't already. So that pretty much wraps up this gaming review for the Huawei Y9 Prime 2019. If you like it, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our next videos. If you have any questions, just leave them down below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. For all the latest tech news and gadget reviews, head to Unbox.ph+. Follow us on Facebook and on Instagram. My name is Jamie. Peace, God bless, and I'll see you guys next time.